Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Pam's Harvest Craft. As you can see I'm uh, in the bakery today and that's because I'm borrowing their ovens. Usually use these ovens to do most things and uh, today I wanted a, a nice hot cup of tea to start with. Which I'm apparently going to eat. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Delicious. But that's not what I'm actually going to do today. The first thing I want to do actually is put this bed back because this is what I was using when I was building. I just kind of came and borrowed it from in here and we might actually even have to use it very soon. Where did it go? About there. Cool. So I think I'm going to go to sleep and uh, what we're actually going to be doing today is a little bit of enchanting to start off with because I've got all of these levels and not a single piece of diamond armor to show for it. So I have a silk touch pick from a few episodes ago and that's what I've been using to kind of grab a bunch of ores and things but I haven't been able to actually make them into the, the things that they are because obviously I don't have fortune so what I'm hoping today is to get myself a fortune pick and then do all of these and then we'll have like a bunch of stuff that I can do things with so first of all I need some uh, sticks. Let's go use the crafting bench downstairs. I love this place. I just need a, a brewing stand still, but that will have to come later because the, the nether is just a bit shocking really, right? So we got ourselves a pick and let's go see what the table is offering us. I do have a fortune two book, which I got from fishing, which is a little bit sad, but if that's all we can get, I, I need some lapis first. I'll right, we'll take some of this. Okay, fortune three, if you please. Unbreaking three. Mm, is that really worth the risk? Probably not. What I probably should do is get a bunch of iron tools and actually enchant those first and see if that helps. Actually, I realized what was smarter is I have enough diamonds to make myself a pair of boots, so I could probably enchant those now and we'll see what we get. Cover me with the diamonds! <laughs> right, let's see what we get for the boots. Oh, Depth Strider 3. Yeah, I'll definitely have that. Thanks very much. And Protection 3. I just need Unbreaking on those. Right, let's try the pick again and see. Unbreaking 3. Oh my gosh. Is it going to give me anything? Oh, I don't know if it's worth the risk. I'm gonna be really annoyed if I get another efficiency pick and that's all it has. Oh. What to do, what to do. Oh, <laughs> I guess I lucked out that time. That is pretty cool. I wonder if I should just leave that at that. I do actually have another mending book. In fact, let's have a look. I think I might even have more than one mending book. I've had real luck uh, with the fishing farm. Um, so lots of stuff to do. With, oh, looting's not too bad. Efficiency, very good. Aqua Affinity, Fortune 2. I told you I had a Fortune 2 book. Efficiency, blah, 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 blah. Unbreaking. I've got quite a few Unbreaking books. That's really good. Okay, so it's not in there. I definitely had that. So there's another Mending book with Unbreaking on it, which isn't too bad. And just randomly one with Mending on it. I think that was it. Just have a quick go through all of these. I think that was all I had. But, you know, other people I've known to use the fishing farm have, like, not found that many Mending books, even after, like, hours. And for some reason, I seem to be fairly lucky. So let's whack. Uh, where are we? So this one doesn't have unbreaking on it but I think one of these did so let's put this one on the silk touch pick so now that has breaking and mending very good and then this one just needs to have mending on it fantastic all right now for the fun part So that was what, 28 diamonds? Have a guess now, guys. How many do you think I'm gonna get from this? Let's just make sure I got the right pick first. Yeah, okay, that's that's the men, that's the fortune one. And here we go. Right, just collect them all. Ooh, over a stack, over a stack. That is really good. Gosh, there's nothing more satisfying in Minecraft than uh, fortuning a whole stack of diamonds. So <laughs> pretty cool. Right, let's do the lapis now as well. And you always end up with like an explosion of lapis. So that basically, oh wow, I've got loads. I was gonna say that basically replaces what I just used to do all of that enchanting. Fantastic. Right, I'm gonna make myself a full set of armor. I'm so shiny. I'm so blue. We have got the enchanted diamond armor. Oh yes. 
Not only did I get all the diamond armor, actually, I decided to name a lot of my tools with a couple of suggestions from YouTube and from Twitter. So we have Rhapsody in blue. Uh, these I named myself. These are my willy boots, obviously, because they've got Deb Strider on them, which is excellent. Um, I also named this one 8-Bit Cutter, which was a suggestion from one of my subscribers. So thank you for that. We've got Can You Dig It? Pick up the pieces, which I think is a great name for this one. Uh, the diamond, this one with the silk touch doesn't have a name yet, and neither does the sword, which is pretty awesome. But I decided to name this one Risk It For A Biscuit, because that's just like a statement that we use in the UK to mean that you took like a small risk, which is obviously what we did to get this enchantment. So that one is Risk It For A Biscuit. As you can see, guys, I also did a bit of mining. And I also had to go to the skeleton farm and to get to name all of these. And I ended up like, you know, doing a lot of this coal whilst I was there. So that was pretty fun. But what I'm actually gonna do now is shove this lot in here. I've kept my extra diamonds in here. So I actually might put these in here for now. And whenever I need them, I can come up here. Uh, one of the things I did want to do actually, I'm gonna go get some iron. And I think I'd like to make an armor stand for my old armor. So we can actually decorate it in the house here, make it look a bit more spooky, you know, having a bit of armor hanging around oh you guys probably noticed as we went out of the house i've been very busy like whilst uh, <laughs> in between this cliff and the last i've actually started making the pathway along here you can see that there's a little bit of gray carpet on it and that's because that is hiding torches underneath so at night time this should all be lit up i'm not so sure about the lantern design at the moment but we'll we'll have a think about that as we go so i'm gonna go and get some iron and uh, we're gonna have a go at making ourselves an armor stand I don't know why I thought you needed armor to make an armor stand. I don't think I've ever actually made one before, but all you actually need is some smooth stone and some sticks. So that's actually pretty easy. Uh, I got myself some smooth stone. I don't actually have a crafting bench up here. I have to keep going downstairs to use this one and you have to close the door. Maybe this wasn't a great design. <laughs> right, so let's just remind me again. What was that? Move items. Does that mean, oh, cool. Right, so now we have an armor stand. Now I just have to think where I'd like to put it. Not there, because that's going to not give us very much room. Perhaps we'll put it up here. And uh, I've decided to save this space for an ender chest. So perhaps we should put it at the top of the stairs. Just there. Excellent. Right, where's the armor? And my little brown boots, which was from fishing. <laughs> I love the noise it makes, the kachunk, when it goes onto the stand. Or like when you equip it. That's really cool. Kachunk. 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 Very nice. Very fancy. But the focus for today is not going to be armor or enchanting. It's going to be doing stuff with all of our vegetables that we've been collecting and fruits and exotic things. I just wanted to stand here for a moment because I think this is looking so awesome and just like the sun rising in the background. It's super cool. Also, I'm looking pretty shiny. <laughs> So uh, the reason that I was working on the pathway is because it actually gave all of this stuff like a chance to actually grow. So you can see these are all our soybeans here. And I put one plant in and boned milled in it and it gives you so many. I think Pam's Harvest Cross has like this thing where you either get like two or you get seven billion <laughs> when you pick a plant. So let's see what we get from all these. So three, yeah, that's not too bad. Eight, 15, 21. You see, I'm getting loads. Um, I ended up putting them here because my idea was, um, I don't need a lot of these. I've already collected so many potatoes, so many carrots, so many beetroots, that we can probably start mixing in some of the Pam's Harvest Craft stuff. I might reorganize this, but I think at the moment that's what we want. I emptied my inventory as well, so we have more room for food. Right, over here I planted some cabbages. No, these aren't cabbages, it's lettuce. Yeah, no placing torches. I should probably move those out of my hand, actually. Otherwise, I'm just going to be placing them everywhere. So we've got some lettuce in here. Let's plant one of them there. And I'll finish this off today. I'll just put some clay in the furnace so this is not, like, getting the wind destroying it. And if we have a look inside the greenhouse, you guys can see that I've planted a lot of the vegetables that we got from the jungle. So we should have ourselves now some coffee. Lovely. Some tea. Oh, I'm so excited to do stuff with these. This is the spice leaf. This one's ginger. I would love to grow ginger in my garden, but I don't think it would survive in my current climate. Right, what have we got here? This is a chili pepper. I could probably grow chilies, actually. Mustard. I think this is sesame. Is that sesame? Yes, it is. Let's just see what we can make with that. Um, what else? Oh, my first pineapples. <laughs> I can definitely do something with that. And the kiwis as well. I need to find some more exotic fruits to put here. But we also have down here, these are like the slightly less exotic things. And I left a space because I'd quite like to have two of each. So we've got the tomato plants. Can make some stuff with that. 
my courgette. So I don't care that it's called a zucchini. It's, it's a courgette to me. <laughs> We've got bell peppers. So I'll plant one there. We've also got a cucumber. I love cucumber, especially pickled cucumber. We've also got an aubergine. Yep, I still, I refuse to call those eggplants. <laughs> and what was this? Oh, this is the beans. So let's put another bean plant there. And I've just got to kind of figure out what I want to fill up the rest of the space with. But this is looking lush. I mean, this is already growing. I don't need any of these berries or any chocolate because I've got plenty of those. So let's go see what we can make with these. So I replaced all of these di lovely diamond tools with actual cooking things now that we're in the kitchen. Uh, so I've got more room in my inventory for fun stuff. And now we're gonna see if we can make ourselves some kind of tofu products. Now, I think I remember how to do this. So you get your soybean and the first thing you need to do is make it into silken tofu. Yep, yeah, so that's the saucepan. Uh, I'm not gonna do all of them actually. Let's do a nice round 32. That's half a stack, so 32. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we've got five left because I might need those for planting with. So we'll make a bit of silken tofu and then I'm going to take half of that again. And then I believe to make it into firm tofu, you use a rolling pin. Hilarious. You used to have a presser in uh, one of the old versions of Pam's Harvest Craft, which I really liked, but I don't mind the rolling pin because you can do other stuff with that as well. So now we have the firm tofu. Now, I don't think I can make all of these because some of them have ingredients that I don't have. So let's try the rabbit first. Oh, okay. So we need some soy sauce as well and a bit of salt. So well, salt I should have. Uh, soy sauce, however, we are going to need the soybeans for that. And I think it's the juicer. Excellent. Okay, let's take three of them for now. Actually, you know what? I'll take all five because we've still got some soybeans growing outside. That's fine. Um, so we got five of those. So I believe it's the mixing bowl, the soy sauce, the firm tofu and salt. All right, we get two, that's good. So there's the rabbit. So how do you do? Now I don't think we can do the bacon because I don't have maple syrup. That's fine. I think that's pepper, right? Pepper I think is an exotic one, but there might be some in the swamp actually. Could go and have a look for that in a second. What else we got? Flour. Okay, we can make the chicken, but we need some flour. So do I have any flour? No, but that's not a problem because we have literally tons and tons of wheat. Let's do a whole stack of flour. That would be nice. Right, so we're going to do the grinder, which is here. <laughs> Imagine if you had to do this in real life, like grind all your own flour and stuff. It's hard work. <laughs> but for the purpose of Minecraft, it is great fun. So let's get the mixing bowl the flour and there we have our chicken that's so exciting actually i'm gonna make more chicken because i think there's quite a few recipes let's have eight and a full eight um right now let's have a look so we've got the chicken that was the steak that's the chicken i don't think we can make the fish because you need kelp and i i'm not sure that i'm anywhere near an ocean actually that might be worth investigating so let's have a look at the mutton Oh yeah, we can do that because I do have a spice leaf. So let's get a spice leaf. And I think we need the soy sauce again, which I've just used up. Never mind. Okay, we'll make that one later. So now we can make quite a lot of things in the game because we have this like raw tofu. So I don't have to kill any chickens and I don't have to kill any rabbits. I don't think I've even seen a rabbit. So, <laughs> and I don't eat beef in real life anyway. So the, so the fake beef will be excellent. And I haven't caught a single pig because obviously the pigs are very precious on this server. So <laughs> we'll see if we can sort that out. So I think let's have a look at some of these other things and see what we can make. Right, we are out here looking for ingredients, uh, mostly because a bunch of illagers spawned and I wanted to run away from them. So, uh, But I figure we could probably find some stuff in the swamp here that we could use for some of our vegetarian cooking. I think these are like figs or something or dates maybe. But what we want to find is a peppercorn. Now, Horsey might find it a little bit difficult to get through the swamp. I don't think I see any. The peppercorns, they kind of look like the figs that you can see just over there, but they're obviously they're green. Was oh, that a witch's hut over there? In interesting. Let's not go too near to that. <laughs> Let's pop round here and see what we can find. 
I haven't had too much luck over here, although I have been picking up some gardens and things and other kind of fruit and stuff that was ripe. I even picked up a durian, which is a very interesting fruit um, from Southeast Asia, which smells like something has died and rotten flesh. And I actually really like it. <laughs> I will actually eat durian. It is kind of like a weird custody kind of fruit. Did I pick up that banana? Yes, I did. Um, and yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a acquired taste is durian, but it's quite funny to see it in the game. I think this is a coconut, lovely. Uh, and I've got a few other things like as well as a, a tamatillo, T tomatillo. I think that's a type of tomato maybe. I'll have to look that one up. But uh, so far no peppercorns. So I, w I might take a trip into our old, the, the place we first spawned and see if there's anything interesting over there. I actually just also ran into the village that we found many episodes ago and haven't done anything with yet. But yeah, I'm going to head towards the, what is it, the, uh, the spruce forest and see if there's anything interesting over there that we might be able to use. I thought I'd made a new little friend, but he seems to have run off over here somewhere. Let's see if we can find him. Well, here he is. He's the orange and furry persuasion. He makes a really cute little squeak noise when you get too close to him. <laughs> squeak for me! Squeak for me! <laughs> He's cute anyway. There's loads and loads of soggy gardens over here, but I've been resisting getting them because I've literally filled up my inventory with all kinds of stuff. Some of this is actually from soggy gardens. Mostly from berry bushes, actually, and I got some sweet potatoes, which is pretty good. The berry bushes seem to also come in this place which is a little bit annoying because I was hoping to get some frosty gardens I did manage to find some and if I can remember way way back here what I also did find um, was some maple syrup trees but unfortunately I have to hang around in the area because I didn't bring my silk touch pick with me here they are so they look like this they're the ones that have things on the bark and I don't think no they're not ready yet so I'm gonna have to hang out here a little bit longer and uh, let these kind of uh, ripen so that I can grab some and take it away with me. But uh, yeah, interesting, interesting places. Not not so easy to uh, to ride around on a horse. Right, made it back. Uh, as you can see, guys, I got a bit sick of swimming across here, so I made myself a little dirt bridge, which will eventually be turned into a real bridge. Uh, and as you can see in my inventory, I got us the maple maple item. I still need to update my pounds harvest craft, but never mind. Um, in the end, I realized you can actually just whack it down with an ax. Uh, so I just cut the trees down because I'm not actually gonna spend any time over there. And that means that if I keep eight of them, I can make my own maple tree. So if I just take, uh, let's see, where's the tree one? That's not it, that's the meat. If I just put one in, oh, sorry, eight in here and keep one and we should be able to make ourselves something pretty exciting. My inventory is pretty full. Um, I also grabbed myself a whole bunch of ferns because I thought they'd be quite nice for doing a bit of building with. I accidentally got these leaves as well. <laughs> right now, what I want to do, let's stick the torches in my offhand for a second. Oh, I also grabbed a bunch of lily of the valley because I just happened to see them and I thought they looked really nice and they'd be quite good to add to the flower shop so they can go in there as well. I'm going to just get rid of the sticks and stuff. Right, we need room for cooking. Right, so we're going to make ourselves get the fern tofu a bit of uh, not salt we've got the maple item we need soy sauce is what we need and I believe the mixing bowl so let's go see if any of our stuff has grown oh we need to sleep soon don't want any more of those pillagers over here we can see if we've got one that's grown let's not do that with shears okay seven excellent that's good that's good right let's go sleep and then we'll be ready to cook Okay, I've done the same thing again and got rid of my tools just so we have more room for food. So we're gonna get the juicer. Uh, let's do all of these because we're probably gonna end up making loads of stuff. But I want to do the one thing that I couldn't do at the beginning, which is make some bacon. <laughs> Fantastic. Now there's a couple of recipes. If we press U on this, ooh, bacon and eggs, you say? That could be interesting. It's interesting that it's, there's no vegan version for that. You just have to use an egg. <laughs> Uh, what else is this? This is a stew. Okay, I know how to make that. Uh, we could make pork jerky. A bacon cheeseburger. Oh no, this is what we want to make. We want to make this. Chocolate bacon. Right, so how do you make a chocolate bar? So we just need some cocoa beans and a saucepan. That we should be able to do pretty easily. So cocoa beans and a saucepan. I've been waiting to do this, as you can probably tell. So there's the chocolate bar. Do we use the saucepan to do it in? Yes, we do. Chocolate bacon. Yeah. What else can we do with the pork? Let's have a look. Uses. 
I think that that was kind of it, apart from making a a bacon cheeseburger, which we're going to need um, some kind of beef for. Maybe I should make that as well. That's quite funny. I suppose if you can eat eggs but not bacon. <laughs> that would be for a vegetarian rather than for a, for a vegan, I think. Um, let's see. There's one thing I want to do with the chicken as well before we finish up. Where did I put all of it? Uh, is it in here? Oh, no. I put it up here. I decided to put make it kind of like a... A faken. Let's put this in here. A fake, a fake meat chest, except it has real fish in it, so that <laughs> doesn't quite work. Now, there's something called yeah, it's a fried chicken, and there's like a fried chicken dinner. So we just need flour, mushroom oil, interesting sesame oil. Well, we've got plenty of oil, so we just need the pot. So I want to get the. I think maybe I already have the pot. The pot, but we also need some cooking oil, which I made a bunch of a while ago, so that's fine. Cooking oil and flour, I think it was. Let's have a look and see if I remembered it correctly. Yes! And now, the pièce de résistance, if we press U, I want to make the chicken dinner. So I need mashed potatoes, which I think I have actually, and the cutting board. Where's my mashed potatoes? Yeah, mashed potatoes and the cutting board, which is gone here and any kind of vegetable or what vegetable shall I have with it? Something that I have in abundance, perhaps uh, a tomato. <laughs> that is kind of an interesting combination. If I was gonna have a fried chicken dinner, what would I actually have with it? Probably beans, actually. Does that work? No, okay. Let's try the tomato. Yes, it does. A chicken dinner, delicious. <laughs> Right guys, I'm afraid that's probably all we've got time for today. As you can see, I'm dual wielding some food at the moment. <laughs> there will be a bit more building in next episode, but I thought this would be a nice little relaxed bit of cooking, small bit of adventuring, and we, we found a little fox, so that's always good. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will uh, catch you in the next one.